Known for their fluffy butts and cute foxy-like face, these dogs have captured many people's hearts and will surely capture yours too. One of the most popular dog breeds in social media, the Welsh Corgi was originally used to herd farm animals such as sheep, cattle, and horses. This breed is smart, active, and easy to learn. They also make best playmates for children and can get along well with other animals. Not to mention that they can easily adjust to different types of homes. Welcome to Fuzz Feed. This is where you'll get your daily dose of fuzz. Today we're talking about 9 interesting facts about the corgi. Number 1. Corgi's history. Fairies and magic? Apparently, the Pembroke Welsh corgi originated from Pembrokeshire, Wales. And according to the Welsh legend, this breed has an enchanting history. Legend says that, one day, two kids were in the field to look after their family's cattle when they found puppies. The kids thought they were foxes, but there was something about the puppies so they took them home. The parents saw the puppies, and told their kids that the puppies were a gift from the fairies living in the field. Their parents told them that the fairies used these kind of puppies to pull their wagon. To prove this, the parents pointed to the marks where the saddle had been placed. After hearing this, the kids took care of the pups. And as they grew older, the dogs learned how to help the children in tending the family's cattle. But for those who do not believe in fiction, some historians say that this breed came from Valhoun's Swedish cattle dogs in the 9th and 10th centuries. They were then brought to Wales by the Vikings. While others believe that this breed's ancestry started in the 12th century, when dogs were brought to Wales by Flemish weavers. Either way, this breed has gradually gained popularity in the US and all over the world. Thanks to social media, corgis are included in the top 50 most popular breeds for household pets. Number 2. Corgi Varieties Did you know that there are actually two types? Pembroke is actually different from Cardigan Welsh Corgi. There's actually two types of Welsh Cogis. The Pembroke and the Cardigan. Although, both types are herding dogs with short legs, these two are different breeds. They come from different ancestors. Actually they were once recognized as one breed. But in 1934, the American Kennel Club recognized the Pembroke and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi as two distinct breeds. Cardigan Welsh Corgis are bigger and have long tails with rounded ears. Whereas, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi has pointed ears and does not have tails. Breeders intentionally dock off the tails of Pembroke Welsh Corgis to either conform to the breed standard or for herding purposes. Interestingly, some Pembroke corgis can also be naturally born without tails due to a genetic mutation called natural bobtail. So when people ask you what happened to their tails, now you know. Number 3. Trainability and Intelligence. Is a corgi smart? The corgi is an intelligent dog breed. And there's certainly more to this breed than just being cute. In fact, this breed is intelligent, eager to please, and easy to train. The intelligence of this breed was rated as the 11th smartest dog. Not only are they excellent herding dogs, but they also excel in various dog sports. Dog sports such as agility tracking and obedience. For this reason, these dogs need to keep busy. Otherwise, they may develop destructive behavior, such as chewing, barking, and scratching as a way to release their excess energy. Make sure to keep them busy by having them engaged with various toys and activities that are physically and mentally stimulating such as puzzles and challenging toys. Number 4. Grooming and Maintenance. How can I take care of a corgi? Cogris have beautiful coats that are easy to groom. This breed has a double coat, a thick undercoat, and a long top coat. Their color varies from red, black, sable, tricolored, or fawn. Fawn usually has white markings. Most of these dogs also have fairy saddle on their back. According to legend, fairies used this to ride on their backs, but if you look closely, this is actually the result of a change of thickness and direction of strips of corgi's fur. Corgis are easy to groom. They only need to be brushed at least once a week. To keep their hair in its best condition, keep in mind that this breed sheds all year round. But sheds heavier during spring and autumn. This heavy shedding lasts for about two to four weeks each time. During these times, they need to be brushed daily. Bathing should only be done when necessary. Although some owners believe that, Regular bathing helps control heavy shedding. When it comes to their dental health, these dogs should be brushed as frequently as you can. In order to prevent tartar and bacteria buildup, you can brush their teeth twice or thrice a week. But if you do it every day, that's actually better. Their nails should be trimmed once or twice a month, or if it gets too long that you start hearing their toenails clicking on the floor when they walk. In addition to weekly brushing, their eyes and ears should also be checked for signs of redness irritation or any signs of infection.
Number 5. Exercise. The Welsh Corgi is suitable in most living environments. With their short legs, it's easy to assume that this breed is slow and lazy. But it's actually the opposite. Corgis are athletic, and fast-moving dogs. After all, they are bred to herd. As long as their daily requirement of exercise is met, this breed will make excellent family pets for those living at home with a backyard. For apartment dwellers, make sure to keep them active, but make sure they should not jump on the sofa, or anything that they can't reach. If you think they want to cuddle with you on the couch, carry them instead to avoid fractures and accidents. Although they have weather-resistant coats, this breed should live inside the house with their family, and not in the backyard or in a kennel. Number 6. Temperament. Can a corgi be a watchdogs? The Pembroke Welsh Corgi make great watchdogs. Although they are loving and affectionate towards their family, this breed is often suspicious of strangers. If they feel that there's a stranger approaching, corgis will bark immediately to let you know about it. And to top it all off, this breed is actually known for their big dog bark. After all, they were used to herd animals that are much bigger than them. Corgis are not aggressive, but just like all other dog breeds, they need to be socialized early for them to grow into a well-rounded dog. While they're young, expose them to various sights, sounds, environment, people, and animals. Number 7. Taining. Welsh corgis are food-motivated. Corgis are fun, loving, smart, and loving dogs. However, they tend to be strong-willed and independent at times. Mainly because they were originally used to herd, they have become very independent. While they can be easy to train, this breed has the tendency to not follow your commands. To make them submissive, use food. Food is the corgi's greatest motivator. However, feed in moderation as they will become obese, if you keep feeding them treats and snacks frequently. Number 8. Lifespan. In general, corgis are healthy dogs. They have an average lifespan of 12 to 14 years, but like every other dog breed, they may also be prone to certain health conditions. If you're planning to own a corgi, or if you already have one, it is important to know what these health conditions are. Some health issues include hip dysplasia, cataracts, cutaneous asthenia, cystinuria, degenerative myelopathy, epilepsy, invertebral disc disease, patent ductus arteriosus, progressive retinal atrophy, retinal dysplasia, and von Willebrand's disease. To prolong your corgis, life makes sure that they visit their veterinarian regularly. Number 9. Personality. Overall this breed's appearance is enough to make people smile. However there's more to their fluffiness and adorable faces, they have a big personality that will make you fall in love with them instantly. But I think we can all admit that they always get people's attention because of their fluffy butt. But what do you think? Do corgis get your attention because of their bubble butts? Or do you just love those cute faces? Did you find these facts interesting? What are other corgi facts do you know? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you liked our corgi content, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications and subscribe to Fuzz Feed for your daily dose of fuzz.